Nick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Colorado Buffaloes and the Florida Gators. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practice, tough games, and all of other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Gators should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly keys for him to win. Tonight he's a pretty score. First, play it your style. Don't give a do a thing that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Next, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. And lastly, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. Work the perimeter. Spacing point 15 to 17 feet apart. Thinks about the shot. Got a nice screen from the top of the key. Way off target. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look good. I can't dance, baby. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Welch receives the pass. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The center handles the pass. The Gators have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Rag. You can see on the replay how this one goes down. Patience with the ball. The offense regroups. Dump it inside. the dribble gives it up here's a double team from the top of the key goes in taken away the offensive guy now is gaining position down there on low block dick i tell you he gave top position by getting the good Extension. May is feeling great out there right now. And you know what? I'm excited for him. He's putting in performance. Trying to feed the low block. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. That's absolutely sensational, even a second time. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. High post screen. Draws the whistle off the pro hop. The defender tried to get there in time, but he was too late. The Gators will step to the line for the first time. He hits the first shot. Misses the second. The defensive rebound coming the other way. And they've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. The small forward receives the ball. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. 
The power forward handles the feed. I should have basketball help one another communicate. For two, makes the shot. Let's slow it down on the replay. circle sinks the shot moving it around the perimeter he pulls the trigger that's good now trying to feed the low block oh, poor job poor job offensively I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's <laughs> pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. They run it up into transition. Nice high post screen. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. For the bucket, he gets the shot to fall. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Down inside, in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The ball goes out of play. And, Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. High post flasher is open. He shoots from downtown. Gets it to go. Both teams looking to get things going here. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Gave it up. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the outside. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere. him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Tries for two. Florida are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of pass. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not putting him down with ease, Brad. Step out on that screener.
Hickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Working around the perimeter. With a deep shot from outside. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential to entering the ball to the post. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He fouled him. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Number 20, pump fakes. They move it into the front court. He puts it in with contact and all. Sets the screen for a great block shot. There's the trap. They work it back to the outside. He uses the shot fake. And it takes some pride on the defensive end. He shoots from the elbow. The Gators have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. And that's basic. There's the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. The Gators have been very successful of late. They're becoming regulars at the NCAA tournament. Success, Brad. It's what every coach in America wants. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Entry pass in the paint. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. That's just great hustle and great defense of the steal. I'll tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Here's a flash from the post up high. He puts up the tray. Florida are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Dig, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. For two, they still don't score. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. On the outside. From downtown. Nice shot. A lazy 
easy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up, fakes the shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. For the bucket, and he missed. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. I wish he had a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Second one, no good. He hits the third. execution on offense. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Easy one. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fires away. He drains the shot. Let's see it if the replay does that any justice. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the outside. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. Jeffrey steps to the line for the first time. He hits it. The Gators are out of sync, and emotionally, they can't seem to bring themselves up, Dick. Hey, they've got to pick themselves up. That's a sign of a good team. Picked out of the air. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Ball goes out of play. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks like they have. Yeah, that helps. They scored 10 in a row. How out of the timeout, Brad? Oh, 
Looking for a good shot. Up fake. There's a double team waiting there. And now there's a whistle and a foul. High post player flashing. From three point territory, gets it to fall. We'll show you another angle from the booth. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's the screen up on top. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lead one way and spin back the other. They work it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And he'll kick it back outside. Leans in. Up. Easy one. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play out there and you're fronting. Tempo of the game, really important here. You wanna establish some good tempo. He tries to knock down the three. Oh, yes. Attempts a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Colorado have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Gave it up. Pump fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And off the mark. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. On the outside, jumped in front to take it away. Moving it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Hey, kept his dribble, screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. That's basic. High post screen. So effective that screen. There they come with a double team to stop it. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Basket falls despite the contact. The skip pass is picked off. And 
entry pass in the paint. Here's a double team. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. The ball goes out of bounds. At the end of the first half, the Buffaloes trail by nine. Well, it's been a close one so far, Dick Vitale. What's your take on the play of the half? I think the kind of highlight that only a coach can love, Brad. His team working the ball down low to their big man for the inside basket. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Florida found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team and a mature team. And we don't see too many mature teams. They're not mature like you, Mr. Nestle. <laughs> All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Dumps it in. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. away. The Gators have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Puts up the shot. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Almost lost the basketball. Trying to draw some contact. That comes, they get it inside, and a chance for a three-point play as they score. At the foul line. No doubt. The shooting guard takes the feed. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He takes the shot. He knocks down another bucket. Down. This kid's got skills, Brad. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The ball goes out of play. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. 
I said this great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. There's the trap. Fakes the jumper. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. The shooting guard gets the ball. Goes. They work it around the perimeter. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't blow that, baby. Job transition offense. Poor job defensively. They don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He nails the long-range bomb. Double-team now, bad angle. Doesn't go. The shooting guard gets the pass. Let's it fly. Florida are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to clip on offense. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. There's a double team waiting there. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. High post flashes. Ten seconds to put up a shot. Cross court. And the ball goes out of play. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. They work the perimeter. Tries to get the D to bite. Arm and foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player is going to be an exceptional passer. Momentary look from three-point land. Stolen away. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For the deuce. That was nice. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you've got a great post play. you got a chance really to win. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. There's the block. The ball goes out of bounds. And the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Florida are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. 
Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Up and inside. Too much. That's a foul. Shooter spotting up on a three. He's got a high post flasher. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. For two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Steals a pass. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, flop city. I'll tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestle. Picks off the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. For the bucket. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. He lets it go. He comes up empty. There's the pick. Looking for the foul. Up, oh, easy one. That's a 9-0 run. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. On the outside, he pulls the trigger. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say, I'm a little surprised at how this one's turning out. I definitely didn't expect this. Intercepted. Gave it up. He strokes it. That's good. This could be a potential blowout, Dick, if they don't cool off. And this could turn into a major league blowout if they're not careful. Working it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. He hits the shot. Play that back for me one time. All of that is necessary, Brad. The small forward with the ball. Picks off the pass. This school is known for football. It's great to see that the basketball program is now getting some of that attention. Hey, their football team is great. But their basketball program is starting to turn some heads. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He'll get the free ones. Misses the first shot. Misses the second. Pulls down the board. They need to get out and run their lanes now. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and the spin back the other way.
Has a nice look at the basket. He shoots from the top of the key. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. And that guy had 1,400 on his board. And look at him running out there like a wacko. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> the ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, a sense of urgency down here on the bench. The coaching staff is starting to sense their players are starting to panic, and they want that stop before any further damage is done. Guys? Steals the pass. Pushes it. Tries for two. He gets it to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. He posterized them. <laughs> he goes to the line for the first time. Makes it. For two, lays it up. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He takes the shot from the baseline. Number 20 is feeling it right now. Daddy's on fire. Moving it around the perimeter. He strokes it. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Picks off the lazy pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. With plays like that, you need instant replay. They're working around the arc. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. They're working around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Stolen. Defense got it after knocking it loose. And he scores despite the half. They're whistled for a backcourt violation. Those kinds of mistakes kill momentum opportunities. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Push it up on the break. And a slam. That's a 7-0 run. He comes away with it. They're off into transition. They are heating up this building with their shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. He intercepts it. Looking for contact. He gets the bucket to fall.
top of the circle. He makes the shot. The Buffaloes trail by 37. Robs him of the ball. The power forward takes the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The Gators have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. They work it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. He intercepts it. And a momentary look from three-point land. Working it around the perimeter. Buried it. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Rims out. They work the perimeter. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Picked off. He shoots from the top of the key. He's money with the shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Drains the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Too physical. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, welcoming shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player is going to be an exceptional passer. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Knocks it down. Sims is down emotionally right now, Dick. Brad, I see a young man who's struggling at both ends of the court. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The lay -in. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in, then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He bombs from outside. That's an ill-advised shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Gave it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He takes it away. On the dribble, gives it up. With a fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. That's been moved, not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Nick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but you know, you got to win it, keep on going to get that final Monday night in April. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Florida opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win that only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids.